So now I'm going to start painting. I've got the figure all kind of spaced out. And it did work out. See, I put a few dots to kind of give me a guideline so I know how big to make the skirt so that the figure will fit well into the space. And now I'm going to, I'm going to start um, painting it by using a wet on wet technique. And I use my big brush first. And I'm going to start with the lightest color in the dress, which is sort of a yellowy orange color. So I'll some yellow and uh, put some yellow here and a little bit of orange, which will be here. And then I'm gonna put water into the skirt with a little bit of color. So I fill in the whole skirt with, with some wet light color and, and the top part too. It doesn't have to be uh, all color. I can like just put water in as well. And you know, what else I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill in this, the foot, because it's actually quite dark in the image, it's in shadow. So I can later put on some different tones and colors onto that. And then that kind of incorporates it into the whole thing. So I've got, now I've got some color, it's still wet. So I'm going to start bringing in some other things, like some other kinds of color that I'm going to try to make uh, the flowingness of the dress. <laughs> and then this is this is also where it can get kind of fun and uh, interesting. I'm going to use some uh, cadmium red and a little alizarin. Sort of try to follow the swoops of the skirt. I'm using a big brush just because it's faster. And uh, then as time goes on, you know, I'll, I'll add a little bit more color to things. Here, this, this also needs this a few strokes going this way. So we're starting to get the dress to appear. And you know, you don't have to stay within the lines all the time. Like if you want to sort of go beyond, if you feel it needs it, then that's, that's okay as well. And this is quite dark in here. So I'll get some, get some alizarin and crimson, but I think I actually even, you know what? I'm gonna to switch to a smaller brush. This brush is getting too big. I need, I need some purple and a bit of um, alizarin crimson, and I'm gonna put some dark tones in here. There's some, there's some in here as well. A little bit over here, a lot of dark underneath, and so on. So this is all the, this is kind of the fun part of the painting, like depending on what kind of clothing you've, you've got in your, in your uh, figure, you know, this will, you know, it'll sort of depend on what you do with your paint, working with it wet on wet. And um, let's see, I think I need to put a little color into the, the legs too here. I'm going to just do, do this. Right. Now the rest of the figure um, is kind of skin color. So this is where things also get interesting. To make uh, skin color, um, you know, you need a chromatic gray of some sort. And uh, often orange is a good start for painting skin. And, and then a little blue or purple in it will make it go kind of a, a beigey color. Or it'll kind of make it go a bit brownish. And then you get, you get a color like this which is very close to a skin color. You can adjust this by adding more yellow if you want it to be a little 
a little different in color, or you can put more pink or red, put more red in it, and you'll get more of a, you know, a sort of a blush color. And if you put more purple into it, you will get a darker skin color. So purple and orange make a beautiful dark skin color. So um, yeah, that's good. You kind of make the purple go a bit brown by adding some orange to it and you get lovely colors like this for skin or hair or whatever. So I'm gonna go back over here and I'm gonna make some a little bit of skin color again here. So I just added some yellow to this purple that was in this dish. And now I'm gonna get, there yeah, I've got kind of a, a fairly nice sort of skin tone. I'm gonna put a little more water in it. And then, then I'm gonna bring that into the arms up here. A little, and just go right through it, right up into the face and the hair. The hair is darker. It could leave the face a little highlighted on one side, like not painted all in. So it's got a bit of a light on, on that side of the face or whatever. In the, in, the, in the photograph, that isn't what's going on. So I'll just fill it all in. So now the figure has some tone in it. And I could, I think at this point, even bring in a bit of shadow, a little bit of purple and purpley brown. I could uh, kind of get those shadows on, underneath the arm. Actually, in a stronger color. So I just put a little, little color in here. A few suggestive marks in the um, in the face are enough. A few tones, maybe if you need it. And uh, this is actually quite dry now, so I'm gonna bring a little color. This is the darker brown that I made out of orange and um, orange and purple. So a few little. Oh, sort of coming out. All right, so, so there's sort of the beginning of a dancing figure. And now I'm gonna go back into the skirt and, and play with that a little bit more because there's more, um, you know, folds and things that I can bring out. Now that the paint's a little bit drier, I can, I can actually kind of make them appear a bit more clearly, so. As usual with watercolor, sometimes things sort of work out better when the paint is dry. <laughs> and you'll really see what you've got. This, this leg here is actually quite dark. I'm going to put a bit of purple into that leg to make it really show up. Yeah, and also this one.
Huh. So anyway, now we've got kind of this, I think sort of a dancing figure happening. I think her hair needs to be a bit darker. And I think this is the final thing I'll do is I'll just do that. One could go on and on, um, you know, building this up and adding um, more detail and even putting in a background of some sort would be kind of a fun thing to do. I'm gonna just uh, darken up this hair. It's still wet, so I can just sort of dab paint into it really. There. <laughs> and if I wanted to add some other uh, interesting things to it, then I could maybe, you know, get into the. A suggestion of shadows around the figure or whatever. So I think that's it for now. I, I'll uh, leave it at that and uh, good luck. <laughs>